We're inside my house right now, and I wanted to show you guys what's going on. Uh, currently working on this place. I uh, haven't sealed the door yet, just got them installed. But uh, I'm setting up a simulator, a blower door, duct blaster. It's the fan from a duct blaster. I made the plywood cutout for the window, and I'm using it like a blower door. It turns out the standard blower door is no good under, CF under 300 CFM at 50 because it just becomes inaccurate. So for this test here, I'm leaving the trap door open to the crawl space because the crawl space is part of the conditioned envelope for the home. And this is my opinion on it. I know some guys like to leave the, the things closed to the trap to the basements or whatever because it's not livable space. I get it, but I wanted to include it. So there's a lot of volume in this house. Over 12,400 uh, cubic feet to the finished uh, wall surfaces. Now we're not finished yet. We still have to fill it with insulation and drywall. So there's even more than that. But nonetheless, we're gonna run this test. Now I made this uh, plywood, right? And uh, taped it up with masking tape into the opening. There I've got my pressure tube and my uh, electrical wire. Sealed up the crank. Uh, here we've got, you know, ring number three. And then I just made all these little brackets to hold it in place. And I uh, routered it to try to make it decent. It was just real quick. I threw it together. Uh, okay, so anyways, let's run the test now. Over here, on the manometer, you can see Duck Blaster Bravo. That's the model that we're using here. And uh, ring three is the ring that we're using. So now if we crank the rheostat, and I'm just gonna be cranking the rheostat, but I'll keep this close in so we can see the numbers here. We're trying to go to a negative 50 pascals, depressurizing the building. There we go. So as you can see, pretty darn good. I took the baseline before I made the video. It was a negative 0.3. So we're already over that. So I'm, I'm definitely getting below 70 CFM air infiltration. Uh, I've never heard of numbers that low before. And so this is a pretty darn tight, height, tight, tight house. And I'm, I'm proud of it. So, you know, I'm going to save a little bit of air. I'm going to cut it down once I add the insulation and the drywall. Once I caulk this door and seal up those couple of penetrations right there, you can see them. I can feel the wind from here, I'm, and I'm standing 10 feet away. Uh, so that'll save me some of the air that we're currently getting. But at the same time, I haven't yet installed the vent for the dryer. Uh, so that'll infiltrate a little bit. So I don't know, maybe it's a toss up. We'll find out. And remember, I got the whole crawl space open right now. The trap door's off. You know? uh, I specifically wanted to take that out of the equation, you know? Which I did. So this thing is going. Walking around here. It's cranking. Let's check if the numbers have changed at all while I've been walking around. We're still over 50 pascals and we're still under 70 CFM. I mean, yeah, it, you guys tell me if you've ever heard of that before, but uh, I haven't. Okay, bye.